So now we want to talk about situations where you will want to select um, from a beginning point, say, cell A3 to the last non-blank cell. Because in the real world, you have situations all the time where you have a list of data, you're adding rows on the end constantly, and you don't want VBA code that has just static fixed ranges like A3 to D7. You want it to just automatically select from the beginning of your data all the way to the end when your list is constantly changing. So there's a way to do that. Um, before I get into that, what I'd like to do is quickly just show how you can do uh, the VBA code for the equivalent of the control down arrow action on your regular spreadsheet because that's a lot of the building block for the code to select uh, an entire range through the last non-blank cell. So real quick I'm gonna create a subroutine called last non-blank And again, we're going to use the range object. We want to start at A3. And now we're going to use a property called the end property. And once you uh, select the end, you're going to need to use an opening parentheses because there is a list of additional options in you, that you need to select in the direction you want to go. You can go up, down, left, right. Um, there's a little message box there that pops up that covers that first option. So you can hit the down arrow and it should show everything. In this case we want to go down so we're going to select that first one so you can hit tab to select it. Close our parentheses and then we want to use the select method. So now <coughs> Well, my cursor is already at our destination, so let me put it somewhere else here and come back to this because the goal is to get from wherever the selection currently is on the spreadsheet to the last cell that contains non-blank data. Um, so in this case, it begins at, it looks, it starts at range A3 and then looks for the last row. Now this obviously assumes there is continuous data in your data set. So again, if there's missing empty rows, it'll go to the last row until it hits the first, you know, blank row. So um, just keep that in mind. So if I hit F5, the cursor should go to the last non-blank cell in column A. And it does. So now what we'd like to do is begin at point A3 and select all the way down to the last non-blank cell in column A. So to do that it's going to be quite similar to what we just did. We're going to start out with the range argument again. Our front part of our range being cell A3. We're going to use a comma and then put the second part of our range which is actually going to be along the lines of what we just did. Um, range again A3 as our starting point. We want to go and use the end property again. We want to select the option to go down. And we want to select that. So this is the top end of our range, and then the bottom end is another range argument where we start at A3 and do an end down from A3 to the last non-blank cell, which should be A22. So essentially our range is A3 to A22, or, you know, whichever row, it, you know, if we add rows to this, the last non-blank row. So... Now we can F8 through this. This line of code will appear to do nothing because we're already at the last non-blank cell. So now when we run this, this should select our range A3 
3 all the way down to the last non-blank cell, and it does. So now what we'd like to do is continue on with that and just select the last non-blank column as well. And you can see that column D is the last non-blank column. So let me hit F8 one more time to finish this subroutine. And we're just going to copy this because now what we'd like to do is the only alteration we're going to make here is to tack on another end property with Excel to the right. So we're going to add on another end and then select the option Excel to right. And just keep in mind you uh, need to pay attention to how many opening parentheses you have and make sure you have the right number of closing parentheses there. Um, just have to count or know. So now we're going to F8 through this. We should first, um, once we execute this line of code, hit cell, the last cell in column A that's non-blank. Now we should select all non-blank cells beginning from cell A3 all the way down. And that happens. Now we should begin with cell A3 and end all the way down to the last non-blank row and then across to the last non-blank column. And it is done. So that is how you can select the last non-blank cell in a set of continuous data where you are adding additional rows and columns. Um, you can see that you know if we were to add another value here, sales and five Cinco de Mayo if we execute this code again we should see that even though we added a new row it still took it all the way down to the last non-blank row in that first column and we didn't change the columns, but you can see that we added a row and it took it all the way down to the last non-blank cell. So that is how you do it.